trash shit. Fuck the rap shit. Coming into the heater, tell them clap this. Be on your dome and ain't gon' miss. What's up, homies? And this one, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Today, I'm gonna be smoking some bud and watching some of my favorite comedians perform some jokes. Today, we're gonna be looking at It's Your Closet by Josh Wolf. Let's go ahead and hit this old pipe and then we'll get straight into watches. Smoke a little something of Barry White. Set that right there. Get the headphones on and we'll get straight into it, always. <coughs> Here we go now. You don't have these problems with daughters. Like, I don't have that problem with my... My daughter doesn't challenge me to a fight. The only problem I ever had with my daughter is Josh that she's been smarter than me since she was six. I love his high lives, too. And, like, half the time when we're sitting in our living room, I didn't understand a word that was coming out of her mouth. Like, we'd be in my living room, I'd be like, what's up, baby? She's like, huh? Oh, my God, that is. Oh, my God, that is. Oh, my God, that is. Oh my god, I'm gonna get that in. It's like having a fucking dolphin in my living room, right? She tells me everything too. She came home one day and she was like, oh my god, daddy, I have to tell you something so important. Oh my god, daddy, I'm gonna get that in. Oh my god, daddy, okay, daddy, I'm gonna get that in. Okay, daddy, I'm gonna get that in. 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 Okay, daddy, I'm gonna get that in. Chris tried to kiss me. And I was like, oh my God. I said, what happened, babe? And she said, oh my God, daddy. I told him I wasn't sure if I was allowed to do that. I had to go home and ask my dad. <coughs> and I said, you know what, babe? Thank you very much for asking. Look, I know you're a teenager and your hormones are running crazy and, 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 and you don't know what to do, you know? You, you, it's hard, hard time, you know? And the, or, Damn, hormones are up and they're down and boy. look i know it's a hard time be, and i'm not gonna tell you what to do and what not to do because i don't think that's my job as your father my job as your father is just to tell you what i know and what i know is is that god doesn't let little hookers into heaven <laughs> yeah. do whatever you want to do with that information babe oh my god that ain't huh? are the single biggest predator that walked this planet Earth. They're not in control of what's happening here. It's not their fault. Any man, any guy in here will tell you things used to pop up all the time for no apparent reason. And it was confusing to us. I remember sitting in math class like... He's getting random boners everywhere. And the teacher always thought I was cheating. I was just checking to see if anybody else was hard. I'm like... Hey. Oh, Guess yes. nobody likes geometry as much as I do. <laughs> and I remember one time, teacher was like, Mr. Wolf, you can leave. Math class is over. <laughs> no, I can't. Picked a bad day to wear sweatpants is all I'm going to tell you. Me and the chick who just got her period for the first time, we're going to hang out here for a little while. You don't mind it. A terrible age that was. I'll tell you something about my daughter, man. You learned really early on with her, she is a ride or die person. If you are on her team, she is on your team forever. Here's when I knew there was no snitch in her. When I met my wife, I was uh, a single and I was raising three kids, right? And in my deal, she and I had both decided, we were like, look, it's not important for her to meet the kids until we know it's we're gonna crazy, get married. Because neither one of us thought it was good for her to start a relationship crazy. with them until we knew it was a forever relationship for us, right? So she used to come over after the kids went to sleep and then she would go home. So one night, it's late and um, she says to me, uh, I don't, I, I can't really drive home tonight, I'm too tired. And I was like, well babe, the first time the kids meet you can't be tomorrow morning in my bed, that is not okay. She said, I know, but I don't know what to do. And I said, well do you want me to get your car and then I'll get your car back here tomorrow and you can drive your car home? And she said, I'm just so tired. She said, do you mind if I just sleep in your closet? And I said, like, <laughs> so let me just see if I got this right. We're, you're coming over and we at dinner. We're gonna have sex. And then you're gonna sleep in the closet? 
And she was like, yeah. And I go, okay. It's a fucking dream come true. closet there. But so she goes to sleep in the closet, right? Next morning, I'm up, and my deal with the kids was, I make breakfast, I make lunch, you get yourselves dressed. So my daughter runs in, and I'm cooking breakfast, and she goes, Daddy, I can't find my shoes. And I go, babe, you know I'm making breakfast, I can't help you out. And she goes, I, I don't know where, I looked everywhere. And I said, you didn't look everywhere. Go find the shoes. Oh, shit. So, about three minutes later, she runs in and she goes, yeah, I still can't find my shoes, and there's a stranger sleeping in your closet. <laughs> And I go, okay, babe, uh, thank you. And I said, I'll help you find your shoes. And she goes, okay. I go, just out of curiosity, Kate, there's a stranger sleeping in my closet. That's the reaction I get? And on her way out of the kitchen, she goes, it's your closet, Daddy. I don't know what happens in your closet. And I was like, well, I'm going to bury some bodies with that girl. Like that shit. <laughs> Holy shit, man, that's funny as hell. You gotta love Joshua's crazy ass. He's got some crazy ass stories, man. I love him and uh, Freddie Prince's little podcast, The uh, Prince and the Wolf. Then he's got his own uh, YouTube. I think it's just Josh Wolf. It might be Josh Wolf Comedy, I think. No, it says just Josh Wolf, so you can definitely find him out there, man. He does uh, some high lives where he's doing like uh, pretty much the same thing I do on live stream, just smoking, talking to everybody. Uh, he tells a bunch of stories on there. And then he's got like a. Uh, like legit comedy bits from like um, oh, the Laugh Factory and different places around in uh, California and stuff like that where they just film the bits and stuff like that, man. But it's funny as fuck. I love the dev stories. He's got the Rhino story. He's got uh, Dick Pig story. He's got uh, shit, man. I don't even know. If you want me to react to uh, some kind of other comedians telling some jokes or something like that, man, throw them down in the... Uh, comments below like type in their name and then the, uh i guess like the title kind of like this one it's your closet josh wolf and just type uh the comedian's name and then the, um you know what i'm saying the joke title or whatever and then so i can find it or you can just send me the uh links or something like that maybe on snapchat or instagram some shit like that man but yeah you homies this is the first inaugural uh or how you say, inaugural <laughs> i can't even say that fucking word red <laughs> this is the first one of the uh we were watching uh comedians and stuff like that but hopefully it goes well i've seen a bunch of people on youtube making videos like this and they get an ass of views and i'm like damn they just sitting there fucking watching shit i can do that but uh hell yeah homies i hope you like this video i hope you're smoking on some good I hope you're having a good day later did we found it oh yeah let's get it one more time for him hey boy